hello hello everyone um thank you for tuning in to this video it's uh it's been an interesting uh interesting time you know it's funny i've been uh sitting at 1k uh followers um for a while now uh i want to say i think like two years now and i've yet to really sit down and make like a proper uh like thank you video or anything like that and so i just i guess i'll just take a moment to say thank you it was such a special moment to hit that number because it was such a big goal of mine when i started my channel because it seemed like such a well, big number to hit that like once i finally hit it i knew that it would be up from there and however it took like three years to hit that number so after working really hard to get there um like my life was kind of changing in ways of like um like <laughs> like nothing like crazy but like just in terms of like the direction for things that i would be um putting my attention to and like my efforts uh that would like really really need to see more of me um than what i was given to it previously um and, and some new things um that were like really big um and if those were things that I wanted to do, then it was gonna need my attention. But before I get into any of that, I just wanna say that today's, well, depending upon when I put this video out, uh, either today or yesterday um, was the fifth anniversary of me doing the Bear Boy Show. Uh, for the sake of things, we'll just go through with the idea that I uploaded this video on Halloween. Around this time, I usually try my best to have something cool to share I had some neat ideas planned for this video, um, but alas, this is sadly all that I can bring myself to do. I guess like, to be honest, and I'll explain why, so make sure you stick with me after I say this, but I just don't care anymore. But that's because YouTube doesn't care, and quite frankly, as the years went on, it's clear that they never really did. Don't get me wrong, I will always care and cherish those of you who have supported me this far and still continue to after this. Like, I always like to make sure that that's known. You know, that's a very, very important part of why I do what I do. Um, so I, I need to make sure that that is clear, uh, you know, first and foremost. I could go on and on about the way that YouTube works, right? But it's really just not worth it. I'll just say that in 2021, I made an effort to actually give streaming a try over on Twitch. I was trying to stream to both um, YouTube and uh, Twitch at the same time, but I heard that streaming on YouTube was pretty mixed with how it affected your growth. Uh, maybe unless you were doing good with it. And it got to a point where I hit affiliate on Twitch and could finally start making some money the rule being also there is that I couldn't stream to both platforms, even though there's some people I know that do it. I don't know how they do it and get away with it, but I don't really care. I think that's cool. I, I honestly think that you should be able to stream to both platforms. Um, and I heard that they uh, changed their ruling uh, recently, but hey, that's pretty cool. At least, you know, people don't have to like figure out some like crazy or elaborate workaround I guess I don't know so good for them um, people should be able to stream uh, when and where to when they want to uh, without some kind of like arbitrary reasoning uh, but that's not the point what is a huge point though is that it hit me really hard in this kind of like eye-opening kind of way that I was able to make some actual money from twitch in my first couple months streaming like super amorously right in comparison to like the zero dollars that i've ever made from putting like little like blood sweat and tears into crafting some of my most creative animation work for youtube those late nights and hard work and grinds just wasn't worth the results i was getting sure some of that i bet is my fault because i didn't have a good enough or click baiting title or thumbnail that would pull people in and I mean, I'm not the best at lying, but also, I don't want to lie about the work I probably want to show off. I even recently tried to take 
past uploads and break them down into these like bite-sized shorts to upload here and to TikTok. No matter what, TikTok still offered the better results for views. Only one video that I did ended up hitting 1K and it was a video about my running with cops after a video game convention. Nothing crazy or anything like that, but it was just like, what made this video take off? And you know, like, was it a time thing? Uh, was it maybe it was something with like, I don't know the tags, like was it specifically like the fact that I tagged the police? I, I don't know, uh, it's, it's like, it's not even like the fact that it was like about like the police, it's just the fact that like I just can't gauge what makes a video do anything here. Regardless, it's just very clear that I was constantly not doing enough to be integrated into the YouTube system to really help spread my videos around and I could never figure out why. The algorithm stifles creativity and it feels like it's barely any room to grow outside of the way it wants you to grow. It's funny cause like a lot of my older videos are me trying to basically throw stuff at the wall and see what could stick and hope the algorithm would be happy with that. You know, I, I tried so many things, um, being like things that I think the algorithm would like while mixed in um, with like things that I personally wanted to do, like I just could not figure it out. But I mean like despite that, I was still at this point where I was constantly like, that's okay. If I just push myself harder with this next one, I'm sure it'll work out, right? You know, it'd, it'll take me somewhere like this next one, I'm sure this next one will do it, right? I put all this time and energy to it, like, it looks really cool, I'm doing things in it that I haven't done before, like, this has gotta be it, right? The point is, the way I was handling making those videos were not healthy. You know, I wanna create cool and fun stuff, but I just wanted to be worth the hard work, you know? Regardless, I don't blame any of you. This is about me taking accountability where it counts and pointing out some of the cliff note flaws with YouTube. I think the biggest thing that feels very unfortunate is like the fact that I was trying to pull together these ideas to tell this really intricate story in such an elaborate way that I don't think I've ever seen any other YouTube channel do before. You know, I was trying to build up telling this interesting coming of age story um, mixed in with these really normal seeming videos that were supposed to just feel like natural and human. Over the years in the background like there was a lot of work and like planned ideas that kind of just got shifted around because of like outside circumstances with like collabs and such but I also tried to find ways to make sense out of a plot that I honestly forced into a YouTube show that didn't start out with the goal of having a storyline. I mean, what can I say? I'm a story guy first before everything else. And like, I mean, I guess sometimes I can be funny uh, and I wanted to try to do the YouTube thing and kind of play it straight. But like, you know, the real you is gonna come out in some kind of way. Uh, and that's kind of like what it is. Like, I like to do stories. I like to do art. I like to attempt to make games. And so I try to do each of those things in my videos in some way you know some somehow so <laughs> that's why you see a lot of that in there but but not all hope is lost today pretty much marks the end of the bear boy show on youtube however i'm taking everything i've done for the show and carefully picking the important and fun parts you know the things that you guys have seen and also the things that i have like done as concepts in the background and then rebuilding the idea from the ground up so that way I can tell a more cohesive and stronger story from start to end. But in video game form, I do want to say that I don't have, well, not that I don't have much to say or show, I don't want to say or show much about it just yet. But I will say that a lot of work has actually been made since starting earlier this month on that project. So when the game gets to a substantial point, I will definitely show it off. But I just don't wanna rush anything. I don't wanna announce things too early. I mean, we've seen it done with plenty of other companies and I 
am guilty of that myself and I don't want to again announce anything early and things constantly change during development and I've had like the ability to like really hone in and see that and you know understand where you know that kind of like will hold me back and I, I just I want to make sure I can show it to you guys in the best state uh, and something that's probably like longer than like I don't know a minute or just one room I I want to make sure it's worth it make sure you guys actually know that this is something that I care about putting my best effort into as I do with all my stuff but I really want to sell that to even people that don't really know me now I will say if you've been following me you're probably wondering about my other game project I don't want this video to be too long and to miss the point but I will say that the game is fine right okay it will come when it's ready but I have an important update regarding that coming to my patreon soon it will be a free public post so don't you don't have to worry about paying or being subscribed you know to see that update as for the aforementioned bear boy reboot game though there will not be a patreon for that game i will find a way to make sure that the game is funded myself all that i ask is that you continue to support and follow me however you're currently doing so and i will make sure that at some point all of my available social networks point you all in the right direction to follow and support that game for now this is it <laughs> i don't know what i'll do with this channel but i will continue to stream on twitch and share my content new and old on tiktok i would like all of my videos moved from here to that platform um so below in the comments i'll make sure that like you know there's like a link to my link tree you know to have everything on there um and you know please consider uh checking my stuff out on those other platforms and just you know drop me a follow or whatever they would call it over there uh it's always nice getting to connect with you guys and you know that's that's a big part of like why it is that i do what i do so um i really hope to see you around on those other uh other networks but uh but yeah um hey this was all fun while it lasted right you know we gave it our best shot and sometimes things have to change and for now i just i just really want to move on i will end up explaining more on patreon for free but for now i i just want to finish this again by uh giving a, a huge thank you to you all uh for the support over these past few years and i am hugely hugely eh like gigantically <laughs> just just any type of big buzzword at this point to like let you guys know that like I'm like hyped about where everything is going in the future uh, and I want to make sure that we're going there together uh, so you know please be excited and expect some cool things uh, ahead uh, so yeah thank you guys again love you guys uh, bear boy signing out